Today on Nomad to Race used slot car lot, we have four interesting Ninko cars. These cars are all completely unblemished, very nice condition. Uh, they've seen almost no track time. We'll put them on track so you can see how, how they run. Um, and you can buy them individually or all four. Uh, if you buy more than one car, you pay only one ship price. Uh, so, the two of these cars are the Callaway. They feature the uh, NC2 motor. They have aftermarket, very sticky tires uh, and include their original magnet. No modifications, no blemishes, just like new, out of production for quite some time. Uh, the blue one with the red interior here, particularly gorgeous car, really nice clear coat on this one. Uh, again, aftermarket tires and MC NC2 motor, and uh, no evidence of use or wear, just barely a touch on the braid, and we'll see how it does on track. The McLaren GTR in black, also with NC2, similar magnet. I would expect all these cars to run very similar times, and the Harrods Yellow 29. McLaren GTR. Now this one has had its stock magnet removed. It looks like it may have some weight added uh, and uh, there's a magnet uh, adhered to the motor. The motor has also been changed on this one. Looks like a upgrade to a um, Slot Car Heroes motor. I uh, haven't seen those in a long time but uh, great little motor. I think SCX may now be uh, sourcing motors like that uh, for their newest cars that uh, we haven't seen yet in the US, but in Europe, I believe these cars, these motors have made a resurgence. With the very thin uh, magnet on this car, you can run it with the magnet in place. There is enough ground clearance that that will not touch the track, or you can uh, take the magnet off and run it magnet free. Um, if you really like the magnet, I think I put a little drop of, of glue, maybe a little drop of CA on there to keep the magnet exactly in place, but uh, I'm sure it'll be fine for our test drive. Let's see how they go. All right, it's time for a vintage Minko track test. Two Callaways and two McLarens. Let's give the blue one a shot first. <laughs> other standard uh, slot cars. Uh, gotta love the Ninko with the uh, magnet placed well forward. It lets the car drift just a little bit. Makes it more fun to drive. A little bit more like a no magnet car. Um, these cars will probably handle okay with no magnets. Maybe a touch of weight. Let's give the silver one a try next. <laughs> Mmm, pushing a little hard there. 
there. Not a bad car. I think uh, this one would improve with a little bit of break-in. It doesn't look like it's been run before. And uh, mirrors feel a little noisy, but uh, I think it would smooth out. Not bad. Now this is the car that has the aftermarket motor and uh, magnet, stock magnets removed. Let's see how it is. I like this one. It's got a uh, little more punch. Um, it's a uh, little more top end. Very forgiving. Uh, got it sideways a few times and came back easy to drive. 